What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about my journey with land yachts and why I'm deciding to leave the team. So going back to May 26, 2020, I just started my longboard dancing journey and I made the decision to reach out to as many brands as I can to see if I can get a sponsorship with any other brand out there for longboard dancing. And of every brand I reached out to, I heard nothing. I got nothing. I wasn't sponsored. And I understand that at the time I was a really new rider, but I knew where I was gonna go with my journey. So even though I didn't get a sponsorship at the time, I continued longboard dancing because I know this is gonna be a craft that I would like to master. And I actually did fall into a sponsorship opportunity with Magneto Boards. I don't know if some of you guys remember that, but it was for a brief period of time, probably like six, seven months. And I had to leave them too. I didn't talk about it too much, but I guess now is the time to talk about it. The reason why I left Magneto was because I wasn't getting compensated for any of my work. Yes, sponsorship opportunities are great, but there's only so much you can do with a free product that you don't really need to keep getting. Like I only need one board to actually do longboard dancing and have fun with it. I don't need to keep getting more boards to be satisfied with that. And there was a point with Magneto Longboards where I found out that I helped that company sell over 1,200 units of boards. And I didn't really get too much out of it besides free products. And like I said before, you only need one board to actually do longboard dancing. So after a while, when I saw nothing coming out of the Magneto sponsorship, I actually got a message on Instagram from Land Yachts. And this is later on, on June 22nd, 2021. Hi Tristan, I hope this message finds you well. I'm getting in touch on behalf of Land Yacht Skateboards because we appreciate your skating style, media content, and what you do. We would like to see if you are interested in a sponsorship with Land Yacht Skateboards. If you are interested and would like to discuss sponsorship opportunities, please contact our team manager blank at blank at landyachts.com once i got that message i was like holy fuck i'm gonna get sponsored by land yachts no fucking way like that shit was fucking crazy land yachts has been around the scene for a long time like i, I just couldn't fucking believe it so naturally i was fucking pumped i was like hell yeah let's fucking do this so we started discussing the sponsorship opportunities and it turns out that they really like my skating style and how much media I output. Because I was posting longboard dancing videos like almost every day. So I find out that there's three levels in the sponsorship with Land Yachts and they start me at the bottom tier which is the flow slash amateur tier. And I can move up on the sponsorship tiers based on my interaction with the company and how much media I provide. So at the start, I was naturally pumped because I can see myself rising up in the tiers of the sponsorship levels, especially with the media output that I do. I went straight to work and I started making so many posts for Land Yachts. At this time in my journey, everything felt so surreal, like, I can't believe I'm fucking doing this. Like, mom, I'm going places. So they sent me some gear and I was on my way to making some content and trying to move up in this sponsorship level, you know, trying to make it big because I guess with sponsorships, people look at sponsorships and thinking like, oh my God, that person made it. But in reality, a lot of the times, these people are, we're, we're still struggling. And sponsorship's not end all, it's not the final thing. There's still a lot more that goes into it. So I was posting every day, there was a So You Think You Can Longboard Dance online competition, I actually submitted for that, for Land Yachts. And I actually didn't hear anything about that, no results or anything, just a post. Like I know my video probably wasn't the best video out there, but I would at least like to hear some feedback. Then Zoe and I, we created a community over here in Austin, Texas called All Wheels Wanted, where we get all wheels together to coexist. So we got like, right now we got a lot of roller skaters and longboarders that get together and just ride. And it's fucking fun. But the longboard dancing scene over here in Austin, Texas is really low. And I really want to get that higher. Like, I want to get more people on board. On boards. Longboard dancing is a vibe. It's so fun. It changed my life so much. And so I had the idea to reach out to Land Yachts to see if they can sponsor All Wheels Wanted in some way, shape, or form. I had the idea of like, we need to get more people on boards. Like you can go to a roller rink and people can rent out roller skates to see if they like roller skating before they actually commit to roller skating. But you can't really do that with longboard. You can't go to Zoomies and be like, hey, can I rent a longboard? <laughs> you can't do that. And so I was able to get five longboards for All Wheels Wanted, and we were able to use that for our community meetups. We got people on longboards, we got people to see if they like longboarding, and people are starting to enjoy it. So Land Yachts, I'm really grateful for what y'all did right there. It was really awesome, and it really helped us out. But then over time, I kept posting and posting and posting content, and I would find myself not getting shared or anything by Land Yachts. I've only been on their main page one time and that was for the So You Think You Can Longboard Dance online competition. Like, I just felt like I wasn't really being seen. And then later on in my journey I found myself skating so hard that I broke one of the bear trucks. And it was fucking crazy. I can't believe I actually broke a pair of trucks. And I made a post about it and I posted it on Instagram. And after some time I was contacted by somebody on the Land Yachts team telling me to take down the post. 
They told me that they have never seen anybody break one of their trucks before. And they told me to take down that post because it would look bad for the company. And don't get me wrong, I get that, but I'm also really big on authenticity. I want to show people what I can do, what I did, what happens. I want to be truthful, I want to be honest. I don't want to be telling this audience that I built up a lie. If I'm going to be promoting to my audience, I want to be promoting them stuff that I actually stand behind. But at the time, I did take down that post. And I still regret that. After I took down that post, they told me they were going to send me some new trucks. It's going to be like the titanium style of the bear trucks. So I was actually really excited to see what the new trucks would be. But months later, till the present moment right now, when you're watching this video, I still never got the trucks. It's like they forgot about me. I also got approached for new gear that was rolling out for the year of 2022. And that also included the new trucks in there. And new wheels. And I was actually curious thinking about trying to do downhill or some freestyle on the longboard. You know, just switch up the style a little bit. So I asked for a different board and some sliding gloves so I can actually do this on my journey. And then I got approached again by somebody on the Lanyards team asking if I wanted some new gear for the 2022 rollout. And it was kind of weird because I just told another person about it, but I went ahead and told this other person about it too. Same thing, I'm still interested in doing downhill and freestyle so I asked for some of that gear. Fast forward to the present moment, nothing, nothing. Like I said, it just feels like I'm not being seen. I'm not being recognized. I'm not being valued for what I can bring to the table. After this happened, I just started to become a little bit upset and sad. Like I didn't want to even really associate or post anything. So I slowly stopped posting lanyard stuff on my Instagram. I decided I wanted to try a different board out. So I got another board and I started writing that. And I found that I like that board so much better. And it's way cheaper. So after having a taste of a different board, I was like, wow, holy shit. Like... I was riding this Lanyards board the whole time and I've been like hindering my dancing style a little bit more because the board's so stiff. Like we only have one longboard dancer style with Lanyards and I feel like they're just missing more. Like we need more dancer boards out there. We need a variety. Like the Stratus is great but there's this, it's just so fucking heavy. It's so stiff. I think a variety of longboards for them would be great. I think it'd be so amazing to have my own pro board, but I don't think I'll ever have a pro board for them, so I'm gonna try to make a pro board myself. Or maybe I'll find another company that actually values me. But after I had that other board, I was like, holy shit, this is fucking amazing. And it just made me realize, why am I doing all this for land yachts when all I need is a board to be happy to actually do longboard dancing or just longboard in general? Why am I busting my ass making all this content to get Land out all this brand awareness and advertising for free. It's like I'm pretty much advertising for this brand for free boards. And I don't need free boards. I need money because I'm fucking broke. It's hard to live out here as a skater. It's hard to live out here as a content creator. And this is one of the big things I want to touch upon just for everybody out there. If you're a content creator, you shouldn't be doing shit for free. You're advertising for brands out there. That's fucking powerful. You're putting your time, your work, your energy into whatever you're making, you're producing, you're creating. You deserve to be paid for that. Why? Because it's entertainment. People pay to be entertained. Not everybody can create content out there. And if you can create content, you deserve to fucking get paid for that shit. Not everybody has the time in their day to actually make content. Not everybody has time in their day to make content and improve that content. So if you're able to do that and you have the skills to do that, you should be getting paid for that. And so for a while I was thinking about quitting land yachts. It was just all up in my head for the longest time. And then the tipping point recently just happened. Alex Hannigan reached out to me through land yachts on Instagram and was like, hey, we miss you. Let's have a chat on Monday. We'd like to catch up with you. We're getting a new team manager soon. And I was a little happy for this. I was ready for this. We're gonna get, we're gonna chat. We can talk about this. We can see where this is going. And then Monday rolls around and nothing happens. I don't get a call. I don't get a text, a message. I even sent them my phone number just so they know that they can call me. But all I got on Instagram was a scene. Once again, I feel like I'm not being seen or recognized or valued. Then I write out this really long message to Lanyards just expressing my feelings to them. Hey, I wanna leave the Lanyards team. I've been thinking about this for a while. I don't really feel connected to the team. Dan got me on board and was the one that talked to me the most, and that was still very little. I feel like I had no progression in my sponsorship tier. Lanyards has posted me once on the main page. I was, I was never in the know about sending content over to an email later on in my journey. Yeah, that's another thing. They never told me that I needed to send content to an email just to actually be on the page. So that pissed me off. That was like later on in the journey, like a year later on. It feels like I'm here to give Lanyards free advertising slash brand awareness. 
Two people reached out to me about getting new gear and I've replied to both, but never got the gear. It just feels like I'm bottom of the barrel. The Stratus is great, but there isn't much variety of dancer boards. I was supposed to get a call of Alex Hannigan yesterday, but it never happened. Just feeling more like an afterthought. I'm grateful for the opportunity Lanyards gave me. I just don't feel seen or valued in the team. Thank you for your time, Tristan Raspress. And all I got was a scene. So then again, it's just like, what am I to these people? You know, like, put yourself in my shoes. How would you feel? Do you feel seen? Do you feel recognized? Do you feel valued? Do you feel like your work is worth it? Do you feel like you should be still working with this team? I don't feel like I'm part of the team. I want to be part of a team. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with spirituality and the law of attraction, but nature arbors vacuum. And so I had Lanyots in my whole space this whole time in my vacuum. And it was just taking up so much space in my vacuum that now I'm releasing this. I'm releasing land yachts. And now I have so much more space in my vacuum to fill that up. I don't know what's going to come in it, but something's going to come in it. And I hope it's good. Thank you guys for listening to this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hasta la pasta.